Test, test, test. One, two, one, two. Shoo up a shooby doo. Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. We upload a lot of sneaker videos. Buckets define a lot. Almost every single day. Almost every single day. So if you like sneakers, you have come to the right place. You are in good hands. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Mr. Fomer Simpson. When I am not in this sneaker alcove, you can find me on those other platforms. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does go a long way. Helps the channel continue to grow. It lets us know what you want to see. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. The last thing I want to mention is uncivilizedstore.com, the t-shirt that I am wearing right now. It is the Uncivilized Cartoons Are Forever t-shirt. It is available in limited quantities right now. As we speak at the buckets, it is live on the site. We will put a link in the description of this video for any of you who want to cop. Buckets, how you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good. You're excited about this sneaker. I'm excited about this sneaker. A little worried you're going to thieve them from me, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's dive in. Three, two, one, bang, bang. This is the Nike Craft General Purpose Shoe Archive by Tom Sachs. These released early last month, I think it was, and retail was 110 bucks. Now, I tried to get a pair and swing and a miss. I struck out on the sneakers app. I did have to pay resale for these, which kind of sucks, but it wasn't too heavy of a ticket. Especially when you consider some of the other Tom Sachs Nike collabs. I mean, you go back to some of his older stuff, the Mars Yard one. I mean, expensive isn't even a word for those. Those go for like five, 10 grand. I mean, it's astronomical. The Mars Yard 2 is also super expensive. They're both beautiful sneakers, but I just don't think I could ever pay that much for a pair of sneakers. I don't know, Buckets. That's a lot of money. A lot of money. I think that's too much. That's too much for me. A little too rich for my blood. Now these, you can find them right in that $200 range, depending on the size, which yes, that is twice box price, but it's still cheaper than some other pairs retail for. At least that's what I'm telling myself. That's how you got to justify it. You got to pay double retail buckets and you got to you gotta justify it to yourself if nobody else. Now, I love this sneaker personally. Some of you may have seen the review we did on the first colorway. Actually, we also did a life test on them. Buckets, you stole them from me and pretty much started wearing them every single day. I wouldn't, wouldn't say I stole them. Stole them. Uh, borrowed. Buckets, is this the sneaker of the year? I think it is. You might be right. You might be right on this one. They are definitely up there. Full disclosure, we are big Tom Sachs fans. We've talked about this before, but his style, his aesthetic, a huge influence for us. And this YouTube channel has been Casey Neistat. And Casey was pretty heavily influenced by Tom Sachs from when they used to work together. You know, just a whole DIY type of vibe. Buckets, what's, how would you describe it? Controlled chaos, practicality over aesthetic, and somehow that turns into an aesthetic? Well, that's the the motif of this sneaker for sure. Yeah, no, definitely. It definitely, you do see that in this sneaker, like yeah, you said. Yeah, thank you. General purpose shoe, there you go. And I actually like this colorway a lot more than the original, personally, just for me. It's certainly more spicy. The entire sneaker is pretty much these different shades of yellow or gold, depending on how you want to look at them. The suede hits that you see are like a dark mustard. 
you can see on the fuse around the front of the sneaker here, it's a little bit more vibrant, a little more pop to it. Same thing on the mesh, which is more of a gold color in my opinion. Nike swoosh in white, which pops very nicely. And then you've got this vintage mesh look on the tongue, classic Nike tongue tag, as you can see. And I love the way the pull tab goes right through the Nike tag. So you've got that pull tab and then another one on the heel, both in that bright Nike orange, handwritten vibes on the back of the shoe with the Nike branding. You've got a really soft, almost thin velvet along the ankle here, all gold insole with the Nike Craft hit, cream midsole, nothing too fancy, and then the all black outsole to finish things off. It's an awesome sneaker if you ask me. I think the two things I like most, number one, super duper retro vibes. They feel very vintage. It feels like a shoe, like you reached back in time. I guess it would be back that way. I reached back in time buckets to the 80s and I pulled these out. The Mars Yard 1, the Mars Yard 2, obviously those look different than these, but very, very retro. Would you agree? Mm, actually, no. Okay, so you think these these are modern looking to you? No, I think that these are retro. I think the Mars Yard 1 and 2 is super futuristic. Really? Okay, those felt very retro to me. These feel very retro to me. The second thing that I love about these is, and we kind of, you kind of hinted at it earlier, but it's kind of the wearability. I'll take it a step further. The functionality slash practicality, right? Because you can tell by looking at them that they were made to be worn. For sure. Very minimal, very lightweight, and just kind of the look and feel is like, man, I wanna log 100 miles in these. You could say, oh, well, every sneaker is made to be worn. That's the whole point of a sneaker. But these just feel like there's a little bit of an, and listen, I don't wanna be that guy, right? I'm not gonna do a whole think piece on why this is a, such a wearable sneaker, but it does have that look to it. And I think that's dope. I think it's very dope, personally. Buckets, you, you picking up what I'm putting down? I am, and I talked about it in the update okay. on the first pair, Okay, and I think they look better worn. Yeah, it's definitely, it's one of those kinds of sneakers. And like I mentioned, I do like this colorway more than those. Oh, I thought you were wearing them right now. You're not wearing them. But you wore them pretty much every day. If you want to see a full, a comprehensive breakdown from Young Buckets Esquire, please say the Esquire. He wore them for what, three months straight? Yeah. Pretty much every single day. I mean, every time I saw you, you had those on and we live together so i see you a lot you were wearing them every day yeah and i was wearing them actually earlier today okay just around the shop so you still wear them every day i try to put some different ones on because i'm trying to life test some more okay just when i thought i was out they pull me back in they do they do uh if you want to check that video out make sure you check it out you know we've talked this is another thing that we've mentioned i'm not gonna say ad nauseum but we've mentioned it a lot it's hard to review a sneaker right out of the box. I mean, we're basically giving you our initial thoughts. A far superior review, in my opinion, of any product is using the product. You know, so, and that's the whole premise of the life test is you actually put them on your feet. You do things in them, you live life in them, and then you're kind of in a position to actually review them. So I know I'm kind of like, taking shots at what I'm doing right now, which is reviewing the sneaker. But no, for sure, but this is more of an overview. Yeah, exactly. Overview, initial thoughts, that's more of like an actual in-depth review. 100%. You smell me? Do you smell me? Okay, um, I think these are up there for sneaker of the year, I really do. I'm trying to think of some other sneakers. I have so many sneakers just flying around in my mind. The Fresh Goods, New Balance 9060, I love those. Man, what else is up there? Maybe the Virgil, Louis V Air Force Ones. Those are incredible, very unobtainable. They're as unobtainable as they are incredible. But these are in the mix. These are definitely in the mix for sure. And we're, we're getting right around that time too, where it's time to pick the top 10. These are up there. They are a 10 out of 10 for me. Uh, I love them. I wouldn't change anything about them. Bucket scale of one to 10, I'm pretty sure you're gonna say 10. 10. 10 out of 10. Okay, I knew you loved this whole general purpose shoe prior, obviously. Do you prefer this color or that original color? I think that the original color has to get some consideration because it was the first color. Okay. You know, but I think that 
purely just off of a, an aesthetic thing, I like this one more. Yeah, me too. It has a little more spice to it. It feels to me very, like even the colorway feels vintage. For sure. You got the classic Nike orange in the mix. You got kind of that old school yellow, that mesh tongue. Yeah, it's just, it's, it works well. It works very, very well. I agree, but the fuse is like futuristic, even though it doesn't look futuristic on this sneaker. Mm, okay, fair enough. It's a good melding is my point. A melding, an amalgamation of things. Yeah. There you go. Leave a comment below. Let us know how do you feel about this sneaker, this collaboration, this colorway versus the first colorway. What are your thoughts, feelings, emotions? Leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place right here at the Brookshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else. Maybe I should just start like howling as like the outro. You could do that. You got anything to add? I don't. Any life advice? Any? Wanna, no, no. I've never given life advice. Bring a little value? No, no I, I bring value. All right. All right. Fair enough. Will you steal these from me? Time will tell. I don't consider it stealing. Borrowing. No, just they're, they're mine. So it's, you can't steal what's yours. Finders keepers. Adios.